Hey guys, it's Galactic Bricks, and this is week two of building the Rebel Fleet in LEGO. In this week update, I'm going to finish building the Tantive 4, which is going to be pretty exciting, and I'm also going to work on some of the other fighters. Since a lot of you guys gave very positive feedback, especially on the Y-Wing, I decided to build a few more. So now I have a little gold squadron over here, which looks pretty sweet, and I can't wait to see it included with the larger capital ships. I think it's going to make the capital ships stand out and look a lot better. And I think it turned out pretty good, and I'm very satisfied with it. While I've been working on the Y-Wing fighters, I spent the majority of my time on this Tantive 4, which I think turned out amazing, and it looks really good as a comparison with the other fighters which I've already made, such as the Y-Wing and the U-Wing, and also the Millennium Falcon. And I think the scale is just right, because it's not ridiculously large to the point where I have to buy additional pieces and spend lots of money on it but it's not too small where you can't recognize what it is and it still has a good amount of detail on it which makes it look aesthetically pleasing. Here's a closer shot of the Tantive 4 at the front and if you're wondering how I got those curves in the middle, it's not really a legal technique and it's probably not the best but after I just kind of messed with the bricks and found a way to get it to stay in place, it is quite sturdy and won't fall apart. And it's probably not the best ideal solution to this, but I still think it looks pretty good and I don't think I could really get it to work any other way. Here's another shot of a Tantive 4, but this time from the back. And I think the engine detail looks quite good and it's pretty accurate to how the Tantive 4 looks in the movie, which is really what I was aiming for and I don't really think it could look much better than this. Here's one over shot of a Tantive 4, and I think this is a pretty cool angle to look at. You can see that I have the satellite on the top, and I also have the two dock bays at the front, which is represented with that small hole in the middle, and also just some details on the side to make the ship look better in general. But yeah guys, this is really it. I think everything's coming together quite nicely. The Tantive 4 looks excellent, and next to the smaller ships, I think the Tantive 4 looks really good, and I can't wait for the future builds and the next upcoming weeks, such as the Rebel Transports and the Nebula B Frigate. I think it's all going to come together very nicely at the end, and it's been a great series so far. Unfortunately, I just don't think the A-Wing and X-Wing are going to work out. I tried really hard to get it to work, but it's just one of those ships that you really can't make at such a small scale that I'm working with. Fortunately though, the Y-Wing and U-Wing did get to work out, which is very nice. But yeah guys, thank you for watching, please like and subscribe, I'll be back again with more videos, and please be sure to comment down your thoughts on the building series so far, thanks.